been it's been strange. I've obviously probably played them three times now this season already, just in the little bit that I've been here. But sometimes it's hard when you play the same teams over and over again because no one really changes their style of play that much. And when you start to understand their players and they start to understand you, it becomes a bit of a bit of a stalemate between the two teams. But there's always little things that you can pick up on in games and little things that we've been looking at in video and trying to change for, for the next game. Yeah. Similar scenario last year where LAFC played uh, Vancouver like really throughout the end of the season and then into the playoffs. Uh, for you to have gone up there and experienced that turf, it's no longer really a mystery. People talk about like if you don't play on turf, it can be a disadvantage. But how did you how did you make the playing surface? What did you think of uh, playing on that field? And you know, is it really different from what you guys? Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't normally play on turf. Like regardless of where I am, it's it's it was probably one of the first times I have. Um, it takes the body quite a while to adjust to the turf, but that's after after the game. So during, it's not really that much of a problem. It obviously takes you maybe 10, 15 minutes to get used to the bounce, how either fast or slow the pitch is gonna gonna play. And no, nah, I mean it's not much of a dif disadvantage. But I mean, if you play on it week week in week out, it could be a little bit of an advantage. Just tougher on your body afterwards, or how did, how did you feel? It? Yeah, I mean, it probably took me an extra few days to recover from from the from the game. But I mean, if if we can do the job when we get there. We won't have to see the Astro Turf again. Yeah. Uh, lastly, the Dodgers right now are going through their championship parade. Uh, have you seen, I mean, you, you know what it's like, how important it is in communities where you've lived to win championships and, and what that means for the people there. What, what's your, have you felt any of that energy, I guess, during this World Series or inside the city? What, what do you make of, you know, what it's like to, to live here while the Dodgers are, you know, you haven't experienced the Lakers, but to yeah. the Dodgers win? I mean, personally, I don't follow baseball that much. I probably will do in the in the coming years but um i mean the vibe around the the place has been completely different since the the championships and stuff and i mean it's always good for communities to win things as well as your own personal team so hopefully we can bring a bit of that energy from this week and take it into the game this, this sunday thank you Lonzo. baseball's baseball's not very big in rochdale no definitely not <laughs> So just a quick follow-up to Josh. Do you recall as a professional having played before on turf? Like one time, four times? Uh, apart from the last time I was in the MLS, yeah, yeah. probably when I was like 14 years old. Okay, so okay. It, it does take a bit of bit of hard graft getting your body used to that. I mean, if you're playing it week in, week out, it probably is something your body gets used to. But when, when you're used to like even the turf, like actual grass here is a lot harder to me than at home it normally rains and gets nice and soft so my body takes a little while to adjust to how hard the, the uh, grass is here as well so it's just something that your body has to get used to. I, I mentioned your, your hometown and I know you had some family visit recently and experienced yeah. at BMO Stadium. Is, I'm picturing like a contingent of people in and around Greater Manchester who are tuned into the MLS Cup playoffs and your performance. Is there a little community there that's in, tuned into what's happening here? Yeah, I mean, some of my friends and my family are definitely waking up at three, four o'clock in the morning to uh, to watch the games and fair play to them because it's a it's a tough thing to do when you've got to work a work a job the next day. But yeah, there's definitely people tuning in. Lastly, man of the match performance this last time. Uh, still somewhat new to the club, and that's quite an honor from the supporters, particularly. The game really spoke to your strengths, which are just constant, uh, constant movement, constant support of your teammates. Can you describe the feeling of the man of the match performance, receiving that uh, recognition uh, at home in front of the home fans? Yeah, I mean, it came as a bit of a surprise. Um, I tend to just like to do the work that I do and go under the radar most of the time. But I mean, for the fans to recognise the work that I am doing is is a great honour. I mean, it's not about personal performances really; it's about the team team getting it, getting the job done. Yeah. Sorry, one more, one more thing. Any, any plans or anything you can share with us about the, what, you're, what you might have in mind for the, for the two-week layoff or 10 to 14 days you might have off? No, we're not thinking about that yet. I mean, because of the situation of the three games, we're, we're looking at the game and we haven't discussed any plans of anything. We're just taking it game by game at the moment.